What's up, everyone? XA Group Jet 23 here, and I'm back with just another video. All right, guys, I'm not going to be telling the video, but I just got done by watching Minora Floyd uh, beat Caitlin Fukuchin. Um, I was suspecting a a uh, knockout by uh, Minora Floyd, but um, Caitlin's conclusion shows you why she's very tough in the division. But um, in this fight, though, uh, basically, uh, it was just back and forth. I mean, not like I said, not really much stood out. I mean, like I said, Benoit made her uh, manage to land her shots, but um, you could clearly see, though, she was looping most of her shots. And um, like I said, if she did that against Valentina, she's going to get counter a lot. But this is the part where I actually uh, like that Benoit fought in, that uh, Alexis Gosso refused to win. She actually mentioned Valentina's name. And uh, even though, like I said, she didn't had a spectacular win, but she did something that Alexa Grasso refuses to do, and that's to mention Valentina's name in the post-fight uh, interview. So, like I said, even though Monroe Florida is what, like she won five fights and she beat the number one contender, um, she's going to get the title shot. She's going to get the title shot, and this is where, like I said, where Grasso fucked up. Like I said last weekend, you know, she should have, you know, opened her mouth Call for the title shot, but now that she wants to play Miss uh, Scaredy Cat and say she wants another main event, well, like I said, we are fair up, just beat the number one contender, and she called out Valentina. So there you have it. We are fair up versus Valentina is going to happen maybe like early of 2023. But like I said, good win by me are fair up. But like I said, there's some couple things that she needs to tighten up with when, if she wants to beat Valentina because I've seen a lot of things in this fight that uh, Valentina will take advantage of. But you guys tell me what you think. I'm